When he's all wrapped up in a blanket, you know, and you can't see his IV, it just looks like a normal little baby. He is just like a normal baby, you know what I mean? He just has half of a heart. In the beginning of July, I had my routine ultrasound. And within an hour, I had a call from my OB. She said, we, we don't see development on the left side of the heart. It looks really small. And that's very concerning for us. And we think it could be something called hypoplastic left heart syndrome. And I just kind of lost it. One out of 100 children born have some form of heart abnormality. One of the most complex forms is called hypoplastic left heart syndrome, where more or less half of the heart is underdeveloped or not developed at all. Never in a million years would I have thought we'd be here, but you know, I don't think anybody ever does. We did our research and you know, I read a lot of articles and Dr. Glenowitz's name kept coming up. It's amazing really what he's done. Operating on a baby is difficult enough, so his idea was how can we do something less invasive on these little babies and that's kind of how the hybrid comes into it. You know, I think we in the, the Heart Center here at Nationwide Children's Hospital are very proud of developing and evolving an alternative strategy for the management of children with hypoplastic left heart syndrome called the hybrid approach. It's a way less impactful initial procedure that delays the more challenging operation to later in life that then translates into better long-term outcomes. It gave us comfort that that first surgery, the hybrid surgery, was less invasive. Just knowing that it's not a full open heart surgery. Every update that came through told us exactly what was going on, down to the point of Dr. Galanowitz made his first incision. And it's like, you know, you kind of hold your breath for a minute. It's just, you know, it's like, okay, this is real, this is happening. It's the step that you have to take to get to the next step, which is getting him recovered and ready to go home. It is so wonderful to see him with nothing on his face, no masks, no tubes. It really gives you a sense of like, oh, you know what? This is gonna be okay.